We do want to welcome back now two people who've been living with this disaster for the past year now, Rick and Tammy Chai, who live in East Palestine. Rick is also now running for Congress. Uh, Rick and Tammy, I cannot believe that you and I have been in touch and speaking now for a year. I appreciate you making the time tonight. Thank you, Thank you for Thank having you us. Having. You know, Rick, let's start with you. Um, what do you make of this new whistleblower report claiming the EPA tested the soil and the water much earlier than previously disclosed? They found elevated dioxins but continued to tell residents they were safe. What is your reaction? Business as usual. Uh, about a month ago, uh, one of the head directors of the federal EPA gave a victory speech at the crash site saying that Chemicals uh, in the waterways were now back to pre-derailment levels and everything looks good. Uh, I had a, co a conversation with him on the phone three weeks later. We're just talking casually. And he says, you know, Rick, I, it's hard for me to believe all those chemicals were in your creek before the derailment. So he's telling me something totally different than he's telling the world. Uh, lies and deception and corruption as usual. And that's why I'm running for Congress. And I'm going to win this. And District 6 of Ohio... Uh, when I come to your town, I'll bring my shovel and I'll root out the rats there, too. Uh, corruption in America is impeding progress and prosperity, and I'll fight just as hard as I fought in East Palestine. I'll fight for the whole district, the state of Ohio, and I'll fight for the nation when I'm in Washington. You know, Tammy, the last time I spoke with you, you had something to say uh, that resonated with a lot of residents. Let's take a quick listen. He was at his homes in Rehoboth and Wilmington and Lake Tahoe, uh, relaxing and having family time. That is reprehensible. He should have been here. He should be helping these people. And she, he should learn how to say the name of the town. It's East Palestine, not Stein. You know, Tammy, President Biden announced this week that he will soon visit East Palestine for the first time. What is your response? What is your message now? I feel indifferent. I, I mean, he's welcome to come here, but why? Why now? After all of this time, you know, we we weren't forgotten. We were abandoned by our government and and our president. And it's a it's a shame. We are a very rich country. We should be helping the citizens here first, America first, not everywhere overseas. And. It, I just want to say, my husband has been working so hard uh, for this just exposing these chemicals all this year. And then we get to the boiling point where he decides, well, I encouraged him and he thought it was a great idea to run for Congress because it gave us some hope. Mm -hmm. It was the first time we had hope that maybe we can make a difference or maybe he can get in there and make a difference to help the people here. And you can help us out by just checking out the website and supporting us at RICKTSAI.com. And we'd appreciate any support from everyone that's been following our story since the beginning. Yeah. So, Natasha, if I could, sure. um, I, I really love the media's attention on this, but when the media leaves, uh, nothing happens here. Yeah. And the only real way to make something happen is to elect somebody like me. I don't, don't need money and I don't need friends. I'm not going to Washington to make friends. Uh, we need to change something. We need to start filling seats uh, with non-politicians and make a difference. Yeah, I, I mean, built Rick... A I, I, to, to your point, I do I do really hear you and understand, and I know that politics is not a lifelong dream of yours. This is not something you're doing for for ego or any of those reasons. That you know, simply you love your town and you have seen what seems like an enormous injustice occur right in front of your eyes. I will never forget some of the images and video that we have been tracking with you all over the last year. You going down to Salmon Run Creek and other places and waterways and the, seeing the the rainbow blooms still coming up and even though you're being told, essentially gaslit in many people's opinion, uh, that everything is safe and everything is fine. Uh, with the time we have, Rick, I do want to ask you, what do you want every American to know about what is still happening in your community and your town this year later? Two miles down from the crash site, first time I've ever done this, that shovel that you see right there, I dug dry dirt off the bank and uh, threw it in the creek and chemicals come right out. Mm -hmm. We're being lied to, we're being deceived. And this could happen in your town as well. We never thought it could happen here. America is off the rails, literally. We need to fix this. Vote Rick Chai, District 6 of Ohio. Let's start fixing America today. All right. Rick and Tammy Chai, I appreciate your time as always. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Natasha. Thank, Thank you, you for checking in again.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.